Hello, and welcome to Henry's Kitchen, where today we're going to be making Henry's famous spicy shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie. In order to make shepherd's pie correctly, you really need to have a large kitchen. And so fortunately, my neighbor Bill has allowed me to use his kitchen for this week's episode. Okay, we're going to start with mashing our potatoes. So, we're going to use a half a cup of milk and a couple of tablespoons of butter and then we're just going to start mashing them. I like to mash potatoes okay these are pretty mashed up I'm just going to put these aside for later Okay, we're going to start by sautéing the onions for about two minutes. Throw in some ground turkey. Now since this is Henry's famous spicy shepherd's pie, we're going to put in some jalapeno peppers. Now let's add a few more spices. Some salt and a little bit of fresh coriander. And at this point I like to put a little bit of cumin in there just to get it that spicy taste. So I don't see any here. I'm going to see if Bill has some cumin. Bill, do you have any cumin? Who's cumin? No, do you have any cumin? So, somebody's cumin. Let's take a look in the refrigerator. Huh. Look up in the cupboard here. We want to put a little bit of flour just to dry it up. Okay, we're just going to stir it up a little bit. You want to make sure that all the meat turns brown. You don't want any pink in there at all. I was reading an article recently where apparently the ancient Romans used to collect jars of human urine and they would let them sit there for a little bit and uh, I guess in a few days it would become some kind of ammonia and then they'd sell that to the women of the time and they would use it as toothpaste. Okay, now we're going to take all this shit and put it on a little dish. I like to form kind of a base with the potatoes. We're going to make another layer with just our ground turkey and Now we're going to take our mashed potatoes a little bit more and we're going to put them on the top to get a top layer. By the way, I can really smell this. And for our final ingredient, we're going to grate a little bit of cheese over the top. And voila! Now we're ready to put it in the oven. Okay, it's in the oven now and uh, we're going to leave it in there for about 50 minutes. In the meantime, we're going to have a couple... What happened? What okay, apparently when I started the coffee maker, I must have blown a fuse. No problem though. I'm just going to start it back up again and then uh, it'll be delicious. And the oven, and that's probably how I fucked up, is I didn't realize that you had the electric oven and that with the lights and everything. I guess it just blew up. Okay, looks delicious. It's nice and crisp on the outside. Wow, it's really hot though. Well, it's way too hot to eat right now, so we're just going to wait about 10 minutes for it to cool. In the meantime, it'll give us a chance to do a little bit of cleanup. enjoy some of our delicious Henry's Famous Spicy Shepherd's Pie. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh. 
Well, thanks for joining us here on Henry's Kitchen, and please tune in next week when we're going to have spaghetti au gratin.